Well, hey everybody, here go our puppies. <laughs> yeah, look at you. You can see they're in that nibbling stage right now. I put ribbons on the, the girls just now. A little green ribbon, a little light pink ribbon, and I guess that's, we'll call that purple. Uh -huh. And everybody else is a boy. So like, uh, see this little dark faced boy sitting here in the corner, so pretty. Yeah, you. He's a little boy, yeah. He's a little boy and he's got those darker markings like his mommy. So that's him. He'll be easy to recognize. You, who are you? Who are you? Come here, you. You're another boy, yeah. He's a little bigger, yeah. Yeah, he's got a nice little white blaze on his chest, but not as good as his brother. Oh, they got a really nice one, but of course that'll go away, but it won't go away for a few months. Yeah, how are you? And where's that other boy? There's a big boy back there. Big boy. Why is it the big boys? Yeah, they don't like to rumble, huh? You are about my, oh my God, my big boy. Too many big boys. <whistles> Come on, big boy. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yes, I am. Yeah, I am. Meanwhile, little Miss Pink Ribbon is trying to chew up everything. Yeah, as you can see, they're already making good progress with their dominating. Yeah, there you go. Well, it's hard to do and hold the camera, but I can at least get them in that position. Yeah, you know, because what they want to do is crawl right up on top of me. Hi there, Miss Purple. Oh yeah, you over there with, with your brother. Huh? That's a nice little matched pair right there. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Purple. Yeah. Can't count on that these ribbons are going to stay on, but it's a place to start. And you see a puppy that you're just like, oh my goodness, that's the one I want. And you've got the first pick. Then, yeah, boy or girl. Hi. Hi. Yeah. But it's too early. It's too early to be picking them. We'll know more about them once we, uh, they're only five weeks old today, so we'll know more. We'll know more about Mr. Big Puppy's personality in a little bit. Yeah, we don't know whether or not he's calm or if he's just tired. He might just be tired, right? Are you tired? Were you rumbling earlier? I don't know. Look at you, you little dark-faced beast of you. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah, you're a beastie. This one here, is he more playful than the rest? Oh, I don't know, we might just have uh, caught him when he had an extra boost of vitamin from his mommy milk, yeah. But he certainly is now. Do we know for a fact that this little boy in the corner is a whiner? Huh, you don't whine all the time, do you? No. We will know more, yeah. Yeah, what do you want? You wanna go out? Mommy's outside, yeah. They're doing a pretty good job. It's, uh, you know, setting boundaries with them. But, but they're not there yet. They're still not quite making eye contact. So, you know, you need them to be able to make that good eye contact with you. But I can certainly come in here and teach them who's boss. I can do that, can I? Notice I'm not putting my hand on their throat. Leave the puppy's throats alone. Go for the shoulder. Yeah. Go for the shoulder. It's so much safer. Puppy's got something all weak and fragile up in their throats that they need. So we don't want to do that. They were playing with this little leash uh, that I put down for them. Yeah. You want to play with the little leash? Yeah. They play with almost anything. They're almost of that age. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to show them to you folks. If you want to see anything in particular, you let me know. Uh, you know, I'll do, uh, put the three boys together and make a video, and I'll do the three girls together, and then, you know, do whatever I can to kind of help you see them. I know it can be hard to get a gauge for size, but, you know, there's my hand on this puppy, and you can see, you know, I don't have big hands. I don't have small hands, but, you know, regular size kind of thing. You, 
You trying to sneak behind me and bite me? Huh? Is that what you were trying to do? Look at you. Yeah. If you don't stop them, they'll chew you out of house and home. You gotta stop them. You at least put a crimp on it, don't you? You gotta teach them what to chew? Yeah. First you gotta teach them to listen. Listen. Listen to me. Who you? Who you? Stop, Duke. Duke's like, what are you doing to that puppy? <laughs> All right, well, let me get outside here. It's a pretty nice day here. Take some video. Look at him. Look. Ow. Ow! Ow! Yeah, see that ow thing don't work. Let me put him over on your side. Yeah, stop. Make eye contact. Get that rear. Uh, you better not. You heard me. You heard me, no mas. That's my good dog. Good dog. Yeah, I don't want to do it for long, folks. Hi. Oh yeah, you got that leash, do you? Yeah, you got that leash. What you do with your big brother? I bet he over there going potty. They're doing a really good job of, you know, controlling their potty, putting it in the potty area. No potty on their, look at you. Hard-headed little dog, no mas. You gotta be consistent. No mas. Of course, it's easier to do if you if you don't have the camera in your hand. No mas. You gotta make him look away. He go right back to it. He go right back to it. Now he's Airedale. He learned. He's like I'll go chew something up for a little while. All right, folks. Talk to you then.